guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm starting a 24 hour readathon vlog. Hopefully, I stick to this one because I never usually stick to my readathon vlogs ever. Me and my friend Jade from Paperback to Harbach, who I will link below, um, I just tweeted, like, to do a 24 hour readathon or not. And she was like, yes. So then I texted her, I was like, yes. And she was like, yes. So we are starting at seven o'clock. It is like five ish now. So we have a few hours to prepare. But I wanted to look through what my TBR was going to be and share it with you ahead of time so that I wasn't like flustering to tell you later. I have a lot of currently reading right now and I mean a lot. I think there's like eight on my currently reading shelf so safe to say I have a few books on the go. So this vlog is kind of about wrapping some stuff up and just finishing some stuff on my TBR but also getting some of those books that I need to get done off as well. I will put the playlists of my other 24 hour readathon vlogs somewhere around. I usually read about four to five books. So I'm kind of hoping this time's gonna be the same, but I don't want to rush, especially with one of the books I'm reading I'm in love with. I'll just I'll just show you what I got. I got four books here. They are right here. <laughs> the first book that I want to read and hopefully finish is Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi. I am currently at page 214 of this book and in love with it. I have taken it kind of slow, but I'm obsessed. I can hopefully finish this one tonight. If we're starting at seven, I wanna finish this one by the time I go to bed. This book is about two sisters and one of the sisters gets cancer and then we follow the two sisters trying to fix their very broken relationship together because of the cancer. And yeah, I'm really enjoying the characters, Jane and June. They are so fun to read about, even in their like heartbreaking moments. And the fact that they don't get on, it's, it's such a fascinating thing to read about, especially someone with a sister and a good relationship with my sisters. This is sad, they I'm really enjoying it. It's like kind of like a five star, I think. It's, at times it drops a bit to a four, but then it kind of goes back up again. So I'm really torn on what my, reviews, my rating is gonna be at the end. But yeah, just over halfway, not very much left. Very excited hopefully going to finish this one. The next one that I really want to read is The Scorch Trials by James Dashner. I would like to read this and finish this. High expectations considering I have not started this, but I have read, I've watched the movie, god I've watched the movie probably about 20 times if I'm not exaggerating, and I have read this book before but I don't remember, it's been many years. So I, but I do think because I pretty much know the whole story and it's just going to be extra information, I think I could fly through this and it is only 360 pages. Thirdly, I would like to finish uh, The Castaways by Lucy Clark. This is a very hopeful thing because I have only read this much. So I'm on page 80 um, and I say finish because it's either a finish or a DNF. I'm very torn. It's not that I'm not liking it. It's just not what I expected. It is about two sisters. They were meant to be on a plane together to go on holiday. One of them doesn't show up and the other one does. And then the plane goes missing. So we follow two sisters. Uh, what's their names? Laurie and Erin, I think their names are. Yeah, Laurie is the one that went missing on the plane and we see her perspective of the plane crash. I'm only up to that part now. And then we follow Erin who's at home regretting the fact she didn't go with her sister and wondering what happened to her. I just didn't expect that to be the case. I thought it was gonna be a survival story. So the fact I'm spending the majority of the time in Erin's POV looking at what happened, it's not the mystery I wanted. It's not what I cared about. So I've kind of been very slow about picking this up. So it's kind of like a decide today. It's a library copy, so I really don't mind if I DNF, it won't matter. But I'm just, I would like to give it a bit further, see how it goes, see if it gets any more interesting because it's not interesting right now at page 80. And then yeah, hopefully either finish or DNF or at least make a big chunk of progress. And then the final book, which I don't plan on finishing, but I do hope to start, is The Lock In by Phoebe Luckhurst. This is an arc that I have to be finished with by its release date, which is the 28th of May. So I have a couple of days, so I'd really like to make a heavy start on this one. But yes, this is my kind of very overambitious TBR. Um, <laughs> I usually read this much, but I just don't, I've been in a slump, I haven't really been in the reading mood at all, so this is kind of a bit hopeful. If I need to break it up, I have a lot of graphic novels that I want to read and are on this month's TBR, so I could pick up one of those to break things up. This has been a very long intro to tell you about the books I'll be reading, and now I'm going to go prepare myself for the next 24 hours. Not that I'm not going to sleep, I need to sleep. But I'm going to go prepare myself to just read for a very long time. 
I hope this vlog's enjoyable. Bye. I've finished my first book. I finished it about an hour ago and I haven't started another one just because like this was this was not a book you start another book straight away on. I gave this five stars and it's one of my new favourite books. This is so, so good. I'll be surprised if this doesn't make it onto my best books of this year. This was really hard hitting, especially at the end. I found myself tearing up. Like it's a really difficult read, but I really enjoyed reading about imperfect characters. It's something I really like in books. It's very similar vibes to normal people in that way. Just instead of a toxic relationship um, between a couple, it's more of a toxic relationship between family. A lot of family toxicity is that a bad word yeah in this book and it was really kind of hard to read but also really refreshing to read because you don't see that a lot in books so i really enjoyed that really enjoyed as i said the imperfect characters i want to read more books like that so yeah this was so good mary hk choice writing style is a lot like sally sally rooney's and i'm just so impressed by it i'm so glad that i have emergency contact to dive into very soon and i will also be picking up a permanent record now after how much i love this incredible definitely worth the hype that i've seen about it i haven't seen a lot of people talking about it but the people i have seen have all been obsessed with it and now i completely understand why if you have not picked this up please go do so because amazing but check out the trigger warnings first because that was not an easy read and there were tri trigger warnings for so many things um i think now i'm going to pick up scorch trials and read a little bit before bed it's like 11 something so it's a little bit late but i can have like another hour or two in me at least i really don't want to finishing that book in a 24 hour death was one of the worst things i could have done because that was such a thought-provoking book that i want to sit with but i can't so I won't. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's what I'm going to move on to. But I won't update you for the rest of the night now. I'll probably just update you in the morning when I have something to update you with. And it's better lighting. It's not a game. It's a red skin. being super dedicated and i am up it is 7 a.m and i am going to be reading the scorch trials <sighs> i don't know why i did this i'm tired these books ain't gonna read themselves <laughs> so on to another day of reading we have until seven so i ended up finishing the castaways it is 2 p.m or just about to be 2 p.m so I'm really glad that I got this done. I did end up having to switch over to the audiobook. Actually, I don't even think I told you I switched to this. <laughs> Let me update you from the start. I did read a bit of Scorch Trials and I woke up really early like, oh yeah, I'll fly through it. Turns out me waking up early doesn't work because I cannot take in the information. So I was reading pages and then being like, I've got, I've got to reread this page. I don't know what just happened. So I actually only got to chapter 11, which is page 58, which is really bad for me. Like that should be a half an hour job and it took a few hours. So I put it down and I went for an audiobook instead and I went and picked this up on Scribd. Ooh, I almost did have, and I didn't. There were some threads of the plot that enticed me enough to continue. 
And I am glad I got that ending. I'm glad I found out I'm satisfied by the ending, I suppose. But overall, I wanted so much more. I think the problem is I was going in ex with different expectations. I think I explained already that I didn't expect this double POV to happen. I didn't want this double POV to happen. I like Erin more than I like Glory. But I didn't care about the perspective of somebody who wasn't on an island. I wanted survival. However, as we went through, more survival aspects did come into play, which is very exciting. But overall, I couldn't give this higher than a two star. But I am glad that I finished this. If you are into survival thrillers, this is one that I think a lot of people would enjoy. It's got good ratings. Just maybe don't go in with the wrong expectations like I did. And... I don't know, I, it's just not my favourite, I don't know what, but don't let me put you off if it's exciting for you. We have, it's two o'clock, which means you have five hours left of the readathon, so I think plenty of time to finish Scorch Trials and still start the lock-in, so we are most definitely on track for today. I think right now I'm going to make a cup of coffee or tea, I haven't decided, and get banging with this. 300 pages, gonna read it, we're gonna get it done. And then we can chill read this. Then once this one's done, the stress is over. We'll just relax, start this one. So yeah, I'm really, really glad I am on track and still making good progress. Really glad to see this currently reading shelf going down. I think there's only like five books on there now, including Scorch Trials. So very, very happy right now. Now I'm going to go enjoy this, as I said. It is five o'clock and I have done it. I have finished the Scorch Trials yay that means i can finish three books i've given it a three star i've read both the books twice and i've seen the movies countless times and i'm honestly gonna say it the film is so much better some of the things in here the first book and film same thing the plot feels so right it feels like it was written perfectly it was written well as if it was well planned this book feels as though the author didn't know what to write so instead, he just wrote a bunch of scenes and then tried to stick them together with a lot of filler. I don't know, it makes no sense. I didn't really love a lot of the parts. I feel like we were left with a lot more questions than answered. Actually, I think there was nothing answered, really. I don't know. I, I liked it still. I gave it a three star. I still enjoyed seeing the development of the characters and stuff. But overall, currently not looking good for these books. I'm definitely thinking movies are better which is a rare occurrence. It is now five, so I have two hours left, but I think I'm going to take a break <laughs> from the reading. And I'm not gonna finish this anyway. I'm not on any type of time crunch. And I think I'm just gonna go play some PlayStation with my brother. <laughs> we can play online again. So I think I'm gonna go do that for a little bit and then I'm gonna move on to reading a little bit of this. Okay, so it's actually a few days later and um, I forgot to update you and sign off this vlog, but I wanted to update you on what I had accomplished in terms of the lock-in. This is not what I thought it was going to be, but I did make it to page 238, so not very much left, which is great because I have to get it done soon. It, it's really funny so far, but it's not like, out of this world for me right now it's probably like a, th a 3.5 i think and that's probably where it's gonna end considering how close i am to the end it's funny i'm really enjoying it i have no idea where this is gonna go in terms of an ending but i'm excited to see it and i am enjoying my read of it and it's really easy as well to read so that is it for my 24 hour readathon sorry i am updating you past the time but yeah i really hope you enjoyed seeing me do that i'm really glad i did it because it helped me progress through some books after my uh, terrible slump so I've done a bit more reading than I would have originally and finished some books off my current reading because it was kind of ridiculous how many I had on there. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog and if you made it to the end, give me a comment down below. If you just want to comment an emoji, that is fine too. Just let me know you've been here and I shall see you on the next video. Bye.